we're doing the whole thing. We're doing it's time to build out the rest of the site. And we're doing the whole thing. We're doing three whole pages for this. It's really going to help reinforce everything. And it's going to also give you a bit of an idea of how it works when you're doing a whole site. I'm going to try and go through naming conventions a little bit, as well as just seeing how there's a lot of similarity between the different pages. So once you've done the home page, you're actually really close to being done, which is always really nice. We're also going to be seeing how we can make it responsive. So we're going to be doing the small screens and the big screens. I have all three of them done for the big screens and only two of them for the small screens, just because they're really similar to one another. The homepage and this uh, recent post page are almost identical. So I didn't bother doing a design for it on the small screens for there. We are actually going to be building it out from the small screens to the big screens, which is the opposite of what we've done so far. Um, but it is the more common way to work. It's called mobile first, and it's much more common to work that way. It's a little bit harder to share these in-depth designs through Scrimba. I am going to have screenshots of them. I'm going to be highlighting the different things that I'm working on to try and explain things as clearly as possible. So we have a visual to go along with what we're working on. But you can also come to this link. This is I designed all of this using Adobe XD. And this link will give you all the design specs. And it's going to make it really easy for you to get the text and any information you need. So when you first click on that link, it will bring you to a page that looks a little bit like this. It's a little bit bigger. And you can choose which one one of the designs you want to start looking at and you can click on it and we'll bring you into that design. Once you're in the design, it will probably be on the comment section. And what we want to do is we want to click where that big arrow is, which is to get into the assets and to start seeing all the different pieces that are in there. So once you're in, you can get all the different colors I've used. So I am going to list out the colors. I'm going to, I'm going to have this as an available slide, but with the actual hex codes written out. But if you're in here and you click on a color, it's automatically going to copy it into your clipboard. So you can just paste it right into the editor afterwards. And there is all the font sizes and everything that I've used here and all the different fonts that I've used. So you can get all the different character styles. It gives you the font weight, the font color, the font size, all of that stuff. The only problem is it also gives it all in pixels. If you want to work in pixels, because it's going to be easier by all means, I'm going to do it with REM. But if you want to do it in pixels, there's nothing wrong with using pixels like there used to be with font sizes. So um, if you want to go that route, there's no issue with it. When you want to get the text, what you want to do is actually click on one of those boxes. So if I click on this, it's going to show me the size. Don't worry too much about the exact sizes of things. It's going to give you spacing. Again, I didn't make this a pixel perfect design. So if the spacing in your final one isn't exactly the same, that is completely fine. But when you click on a box, it's actually going to give you all the text that's in there. Now, the only problem is it does not include line breaks. So the continue reading and the title of it will sort of be all jammed up in one big paragraph but it makes it a lot easier that you can sort of click through and get the different pieces of text. Uh, that way, I'm also going to have a file in Scrimba in the next video where you can get the text from if you don't want to be using the Adobe XD um, thing here. If you're on a page and you want to get back out of there, you want to go see one of the other pages, you can navigate through them. You can't see it at the bottom of the page. So you can, there's a little navigation to go through the different pages at the bottom, or you can just click up here where it says the living, living the simple life. And it'll bring you back to that grid that you started on. So then you can choose which other page you want to go and visit. So in a little more detail, here are the three pages um, for desktops. When I'm writing my markup, I'm always focused on looking at the most complicated part of the design. When I do my CSS, I'm, as I mentioned, we're going to start mobile first. But when it comes to the markup, we need to really see the structure of the website when all the different pieces are in the places that they're going to end up at. And it's always a more complicated layout when we're on a desktop screen. So when I start writing my HTML, I'm going to be looking at these designs. And then when I start my CSS, I'm going to actually be looking at the small screens, and then we're going to move on up to these bigger screens. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down how I analyze the homepage, and I'm going to start writing the markup for that. And we're going to make our way and write the markup for that. We're going to get the whole thing done. We're going to make it responsive. It's going to look great. And then we're going to move on to those other two pages, because as I mentioned, they're going to go pretty quickly once we've finished everything else here. I'm really looking forward to this. I think it's going to be so much fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video where we can start coding.